Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 Tier D Off-Road. Now the most notable features on this Tier D Off-Road is its heated and cooled front seats. You also have your power moonroof along with your heated steering wheel. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 Tier D Off-Road. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Tier D Off-Road is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just over on the side, you have your 19 inch Tier D style off-road wheels. And taking a look up top, you have the signal lamps as well as the foldable mirrors. And taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot warning indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. You have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now, if you hold it there a little bit longer, it'll actually open up all the doors for you as well. And this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Lunar Rock. Now, taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on the left-hand side, you have your automatic high beams with your window wiper de-icer, heated steering wheel, and power liftgate release. Mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, voice recognition, lane departure alert, cruise control mode select, and seek function. It does offer the push button start, so you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a closer look just at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So as you can see, you have your fuel economy as well as the distance to empty. You can go through and take a look at the lane departure alert on here with your compass, audio, trip info, with your all-wheel drive, settings menu with the lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spawning on and off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features and then your messages menu. Taking a look you have an exterior temperature gauge down below on the screen in the top right hand corner you'll find the digital clock. Taking a look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display you'll see a couple of different features on here so if you go inside the menu screen you'll find your destination audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now with the apps menu it's part of the Entune app suite so as long as you have it on your phone you can use such apps as the Slacker app which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display you can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Now, it is compatible with Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, and you do have the premium JBL sound system with the Sirius XM satellite radio on here. Hazard lights, dual zone climate control settings, heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger, traction control on and off, wireless charging pad on and off with your USB and auxiliary input. Once you have your wireless charging pad turned on, you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. As you can see, you have your Eco Normal and Sport Mode with your Mud, Sand, Rock, and Dirt, Snow Mode, and Downhill Assist Control. Now, as you can see, when you actually turn the dial there, it'll actually change colors. It's added to an automatic transmission, and then if you take a closer look up top here, you'll find your open and close as well as the tilt up and down feature for the power moonroof. You have the sunglass case holder, and then you have the SOS Safety Connect. So in the event that you're in a collision and you're unable to respond, Emergency services will be sent out to you right away just to make sure you're okay. Taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. And then you can also change up your backup camera view to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view you're used to. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left-hand side and the rear hatch release located just underneath your Toyota emblem. Pushing the button once and it will open up for you automatically and then as you can see in the back here you do have the carb cover which is nice because in the event that you have any valuables, ba uh, sorry, valuables back here you can actually have them covered up. You have a 60-40 split for the rear seat so if you need the additional space it's available to you. 
And as you can see, you do have a cargo liner in the back, which is also great because if you spill any liquids on here, it makes things a little bit easier to clean up afterwards, just because you can have it removed and clean up properly afterwards. Spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit will be located underneath here. And then if you want, you can actually lower this top piece down a little bit farther in case you need the additional space. It's a power adjustable tailgate, so all you have to do is hold down the button for approximately two seconds the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. And if you want, you can actually reset the height for yourself by pushing on the button for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.